this tutorial is going to be about flat lining your panels together. So first of all, what's flat lining? It's basically when you take two layers of your corset, um, say this is your strength layer here, like your coty, and this is your fashion layer, and then you sew them or fix them together in such a way that they lie flat like this. So basically you have two layers, but when you're done, you'll treat them as one layer. So reasons why you'd want to do this is, for instance, if you have a very weak or stretchy fashion layer, such as, uh, such as lace or, uh, or any sort of spandex material, and you don't want that to stretch out, obviously. So what you would do is you would um, flatline that to your kuti. So your kuti is definitely not going to stretch, so neither is your fashion material. It, uh, it also helps you um, deal with a lot more layers at once, because I know it can be very frustrating if you're making a corset with three or four layers. Um, that's a lot more frustrating than dealing with two layers. So if you can flatline, you know, two layers together and another two layers together, then you can treat four layers as two, and it's a, it's a lot easier to work with that way. So what can you use for flatlining? I've seen some people just use regular fusible interfacing, and what it is, it's a, a thin piece of, like, it almost looks like gauze, and it has glue on one side of it, so that when you put um, the glue side of the interfacing um, on the same side as your fabric, and then you iron it, the glue will melt and it will bring those two pieces together, so that will work. Another example is Wonder Under, where it actually only has glue on wax paper as opposed to glue on the interfacing. So what you do, you take the wax paper and you lay your fashion fabric on that wax paper with the glue side up, obviously. And then when you iron that, then the glue will stick to your fashion fabric instead of the wax paper. You peel off the wax paper, stick on your strength layer like this, iron it again, and then it's basically glued together. Um, also, other things that you can use are just temporary fabric adhesive. Um, you can also call this basting spray or quilting spray. This is 505. I like it because it's temporary and you can um, reposition it a couple of times before it actually loses its tack, so that's nice. You can use um, permanent types. I think the 404 type is permanent, but, uh, but be careful when you're using something like that because obviously you won't be able to position it afterwards. So you don't need any fancy materials to do flat lining on your corset. Um, you can just baste your, your layers together by hand or by machine if you have machine basting. So I'll give you an example of what um, hand basting looks like. It doesn't have to be pretty at all. Okay, so you should basically be uh, sort of looking over my shoulder now. So what we have here, the white layer, pretend that this is your strength layer, such as kuti or, or drill or something. And then the red layer is what's actually going to be showing on the outside. That's your fashion layer. So here, what I like to do first is just to make one base in the middle to, uh, to hold the panels together. And remember, this doesn't have to be pretty at all, and you don't have to use any matching thread. And then I'm just going to start on one side. And if you're working with something that shows um, your needle pricks very easily, like silk, then just omit this one, um, this one stitch in the middle. So obviously when you're doing this, you should be more careful about, you know, aligning your grains more carefully and everything. I'm just doing this quickly to show you um, if you have never seen basting before and don't know how to do it. So you can see how, uh, how quickly I'm doing it. and make sure that uh, your fabric isn't tugging anywhere keeping everything very straight Okay, so this is one side of the panel done and then you just go over to the other side I might uh, put a small stitch here at the bottom just to keep everything together keep it from flying up in the air if you got a strong draft. <laughs>
And there we go. So we're basically done our basting here. And you don't even have to knot the fab uh, the uh, the thread at the back. Oh, you can just um, baste a little X here if you want. Just cross it over itself like that. And you're done flatlining your first panel piece together. So if you're anything like me, you absolutely despise hand basting with a bloody passion. I'm very impatient, so I usually just baste using my machine, or I use something like this. But once again, um, always do a spot test before you try any glue. That includes Wonder Under, or fusible interfacing, or this stuff. And make sure that uh, it doesn't show any marks on your fashion fabric because you don't want to buy you know a couple of yards of really really nice Chinese brocade or something and then have all the glue show through because that's just that's just sad. Some corset makers they actually like to sew all of their panels in a layer together and then flatline the entire corset layer um, but I prefer to flatline all my layers before I even start sewing the panels together because I've done it both ways and I just find it to be a lot more frustrating to have to try to flatline um, entire layers at a time because you have, I feel, less control of each panel and you know if you kind of mess up on the alignment of one panel then you it kind of messes up the alignment of all the others I find. So I just kind of do the extra effort and and uh, you know spend the extra maybe three minutes per panel um, flatlining those together and it saves me you know potentially hours of work later on. So that's about it. Really short and easy tutorial today, guys. Um, if you guys have any questions, if you want more detail about flatlining using any of the other methods, like Wonder Under, Fusible Interfacing, this basting spray here, just send me a message. I'll help you out. Um, and until next time, happy corseting. Bye!